Hi, I'm Kishore, an intern with Sun Labs, working with Dr. Dave Benpro on the project the Adaptive Power Management. Today, I'll talk about the initial step we have successfully completed of our project, that is developing simple and robust power models using performance monitoring events for AMD quad core open solar systems. The basic idea is correlating power consumption with performance monitoring events. Actually, develop, developing power models using performance events is not a new idea. But unlike previous studies, our work is different in terms of giving the following contributions. The first one is we showed a methodology to implement simple, simple means here with fewer events, performance events, and robust power models, which can predict uh, power consumption with uh, greater than like 95% production accuracy for most of the benchmarks. And number two is uh, this model works for across multiple frequencies supported by CPU. And uh, number three is we used appropriate model selection and model assessment techniques for uh, assessing the model as well as for finding the best predictors of the model. And the last one is as we develop power models with fewer events, those events are widely available on almost modern platforms. Our methodology is portable across all modern platforms. Um, I will. Uh, I will first. I will next talk about the experimental environment. Uh, Basically, we use two systems. One is AMD Phenom system, and the other one is AMD Shanghai. This is a Shanghai system. It uh, as a quad core system. It has uh, it supports four frequencies: 2.6, 1.9, 1.4, and 0.9, and it has 6 MB ether cache, and as well as uh, 4 MB, 4 GB RAM. And uh, we have uh, another system, uh, AMD Phenom. This is AMD Phenom. It's a naked system now. Uh, it's, it supports um, two frequencies, 2.4 and 1.2. And it has a 2 MB L3 cache and uh, four, uh, 2 GB RAM. Uh, basically, we used uh, CPU track command uh, to, measure, uh, to read the monitors. Uh, and um, we used uh, XTEC power meter to measure the uh, power consumption of the system. This is uh, this white cable is the RS232 cable, uh, which is used to read the uh, power samples. Uh, okay, now I will give you a brief uh, idea about our methodology. Okay, our method methodology is very simple. Take all the available events uh, uh, available in the system. Actually, uh, AMD's processor provides around 134 uh, performance events. Um, Based on the literature, initially we uh, consider eight uh, performance events. These eight performance events, uh, the events are like unhalted cycles, instructions, misdirected branches, rotated branches, L2 cache misses, L3 cache misses, uh, CPU dispatch stalls, and uh, retired micro operations. Um, for uh, uh, deri we, we derived predictors from these events by dividing the total number of events by execution time of the workload in terms of tick. Here, one important point is the clock tick is uh, independent of frequency in AMD systems. That means uh, the duration of the clock tick equals to uh, the CPU cycle when the system is running at highest frequency level. And uh, okay, initially we used these eight predictors to uh, build the model, uh, a linear model. We used uh, uh, regression method LM of uh, our statistical uh, language. Uh, using that method, we built eight predictor linear power model, as well, uh, Phenom as well as Shanghai. And um, how we collected the data? Actually, we ran the benchmarks, uh, spec CPU 2000 benchmarks, and uh, uh, for four uh, four times each benchmark. Uh, basically, Phenom supports two frequencies. Uh, we consider each run as a data point. So as Phenom supports two frequencies, we have 176 data points uh, in case of uh, Phenom system, and uh, we have uh, 352 Shanghai data points. On these data points, we uh, applied the uh, regression, R regression method, LM method, 
and we built the eight predictor linear power model, uh, uh, Phenom as well as Shanghai. Here, here uh, to assess the model, we used two testing techniques. One is called cross validation technique, leave out one cross validation technique. Another one is called uh, uh, testing the model against uh, new test data. Uh, considering, considering the our methodology, I explain about the first step. The first step is take the all available events. Here we have eight events. Take the all eight events. Build the regression model. Take all reasonable events. So we have taken uh, eight events and we build the uh, regression model. Then use the cross validation test as well as uh, new test data to test to test the model to assess the model and um, use any reasonable uh, metric to uh, find the error prediction accuracy of the model. Next step is finding the most important uh, predictors among these eight. So that for that we used relative importance measure, measures method, RA, RIM method, basically model selection method. Uh, the, RM, uh, the RM method uh, produced two important uh, predictors in terms of R squared value. Higher R squared value means uh, uh, the most important predictor. So the RIM method showed that the L3 cache misses and uh, the unhalted cycles are most important predictors among these uh, eight predictors. Actually, it makes sense from computer architecture point of view also. Because uh, we trained the data on spec CPU 2000 benchmarks and the spec 2000 benchmarks stress CPU on main memory. Basically, the unhalted cycles reflect CPU utilization and the L3 cache misses reflect memory boundedness of the, of the application. So basically, from the statistical point of view, as well as from computer architecture point of view, these two, these two uh, predictors are very important. And one more important point is, uh, um, by producing a model with just with these two events, eliminated the issue of multicollinearity. Um, basically, a good model means the predictors or inputs of the model should be highly correlated with the target parameter. In our, in our model, the target parameter is power consumption, power, and the uh, other eight predictors are the inputs. So, in the eight predictor model, the multicollinearity, we used a method called variation inflation factor, VIF method. That VIF method uh, value uh, in case of eight predictor model is greater than 30 uh, almost for almost all the eight predictors. That means in eight predictor model, there is a multicollinearity problem issue among the predictors. So it's not a good model. But in case of two predictor model, um, we got value of one, variation inflation factor value, we got one. That means the, the model is more robust comparing with eight predictor model. Okay, in conclusion, uh, we have developed, uh, we showed a methodology for developing simple and robust uh, power models using performance events for latest AMD quad core uh, systems running open solaris uh, the um, and uh, the models predicts power consumption uh, greater than uh, with 95% prediction accuracy for most of the benchmarks and uh, the models works across multiple frequencies and uh, the methodology is uh, portable because the events the fewer events the two events are available uh, in all modern uh, hardware platforms like unhalted cycles on the l3 cache misses as future work, we want to plug these models uh, into Solaris kernel, and we want to uh, use these models for smart dynamic frequency scaling techniques to optimize power consumption. And one important limitation of our work is, uh, as we develop the models on spec CPU 2000 benchmarks, and uh, these benchmarks only stress CPU and main memory, you can expect that the models work well for the workloads which stress CPU and main memory. Of course, if you want to use models uh, if you want to use uh, workloads which stress disk and I.O., just you need to add the events which reflect the usage of disk and I.O. to this model. Um, overall, the methodology uh, is very simple and uh, it's very useful for the research community. Thank you.